folks. I got the uh, Ricoh GR3X and I'm right into the uh, menu settings. So um, let me show you some stuff that uh, I've been doing. So with the white balance, uh, that start here. And let's get on the menu first. All right, so you got the screen, whatever. On the top, you'll see the different dials. Three choices, manual, shutter, aperture, program. Okay. Put it right back here. And I got it plugged in through the USB-C to keep it charged. So you can see that. So you can see this. I should do it that way. So, in order to get to the menu, uh, here's another thing. Uh, the function while on camera is uh, kind of like a back focus one. Also, you can do the uh, shutter release for the focus. But, uh, and then for the macro, I already showed that's for macro, that's off, uh, interval uh, shooting, ISO, and white balance. And the white balance I got in the auto. Okay, but just for this purposes, uh, display, I can turn this off completely, but I'm not. I'm just going to do it like that. And then I'm going to go into the menu. Okay. And we're going to show you uh, the settings that uh, I like setting up with. Okay. So, I uh, took two cameras off. I took the A7C and the Sony ZV-E10. And uh, I'm down to uh, four cameras on this system also. So, yeah. So, I got the FX30. I got the R5C. I got the ZV-1 Mark II. And then I got the A6100 for the uh, puppy, I think. So let's do a real quick thing on this uh, menu. So for the cameras, you got focus, face eye detection when I have on, assist light, I got it on. I got a lot of this stuff on there. Snap focus is different. I'm not using it. I'll show you how to get to it. When it's on, focus peaking, I have off. The setting, focus priority. <clears throat> and um, let me move this a little bit closer. I'm trying not to cough. So if I go to uh, manual focus, uh, auto magnification's on. I got it in P mode. Meeting or metering, I have it on center weighted. I can go multi segment, which is good. Uh, ISO, you know, there's a whole bunch of settings in the ISO setting. So you have auto ISO, but I limit it to no higher than 6400. Okay. Uh, I did experiments tonight. Uh, 32, 16 is good with light, but I'll leave it there. So the lowest is. Uh, 100, yeah, 100, and then uh, this is not working. So minimum shutter speed, I have it at 1 30th. It's not doing it. It's uh, going lower. So anyway, uh, flash mode, I'm not worried about. Program mode, yeah. So I can do depth of field deep which I should have done tonight. But I'm going to max uh, extra priority or normal. But for uh, deep, I think I'll do that, you know, for tomorrow. ND filter on auto, exposure compensation on, uh, it's at zero. You can link the auto exposure and uh, auto focus point. White balance. You can see, oh, I already showed you that. Uh, tuning now. I get it. Now, if I go inside, it's on high. So 
I don't really have to worry about the white balance. Um, it's in uh, still mode now or photo. Uh, priority, I have that off. Okay. Uh, explain a little bit like that in another video. Macro mode is off, but I showed you how to get that. Drive mode is single. The uh, anti aliasing is off. I got it on JPEG. I can put it on RAW, but I, I just want to see how the pictures look in uh, JPEG. They look pretty good. Uh, you, now, you're supposed to have more choices. I just did a firmware update, and I only have 3x2 and 1x1. One one. No 16x9 or whatever. Uh, prop is a neat thing. So I can go, uh, this is actually a 26 millimeter lens, but I can crop it, which is like a 40 millimeter full frame equivalent, 50 millimeter equivalent, or 71 millimeter equivalent. And uh, again, on large files, color space, I have it on sRGB. Uh, and this one, I like the positive, okay? Uh, for the different uh, picture profiles. Um, let's see. Uh, correction is on. Let's see. Range correcting. Yeah. Noise reduction. Uh, shake reduction. Uh, the sound is off. But, uh, you know, I really haven't been using this for uh, video. I guess it sucks. It's lousy. Okay. But uh, for focus. This is where you get auto area, auto focus, center. You can zone, select. You can select different auto focuses, pinpoint, tracking, continuous, manual focus, and snap. And then, of course, infinity. So I'll be trying all these. And let's see. Uh, I can show you that, that, that. Okay. So let's go into movie mode. And I'm going to go all the way up to the beginning. Okay, so autofocus. You got many focus snap or pie. Uh, the reason why I leave it on autofocus, if I want to vlog, if it's on um, infinity, well, this, it, it, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll try it, but I don't think it works. Okay. Uh, Told you about that. If I go in there, I had on snap focus at 0.3 meters, so I can be in focus and everything behind me is blurred out. Uh, focus peaking I have turned off. Uh, this one's off on the video. I really haven't been doing anything at all. ND filter, you know, I have it on. White balance. Uh, Anyway, it, it kind of matches. Now, the macro mode is off. Frame rate is 30p. Uh, it only does uh, 1080 60. HD 60, that's it. So I just put it on 30 so it won't overheat as quickly. Um, sound recording, I got it set on. Image control, the positive, you know. So basically, you see the same thing. This is uh, sound reduction, all right? And it's off. I mean, it's on, but I haven't done that. So the other one is uh, playback settings. We go all the way to the beginning. Yeah, I think that's the top. Okay. So you can delete certain files. You can protect them. Image rotation. You can move the uh, pictures around. Image copy is basically if you forget to put the uh, SD card in there, you have a t 2 gigabyte storage built into the camera. File transfer is basically from the internal storage to uh, the SD card. Okay, I think, yeah. Yeah, it's one of those two. 
rod development, resize, cropping, levels adjustments. No, no, you know, I don't have any pictures, but uh, we got more correction. So this has, you know, uh, you can go by date or file number, right? Uh, sound volume, I have it on 10. But anyway, that's that. We go into customize settings. Now you can reprogram some dials and buttons, and, you know, save it. Rename, yeah. Uh, recall, delete settings, manual dome. You know, you can uh, set this to uh, different ones, right? So, hard focus and auto exposure lock. Uh, LCD operation, you can do a touch. Now, on this touch, you can also do an autofocus point, focus, and shoot. Full press snap, if I have the uh, snap uh, focus on. I can have it turned off also if I just want to use the EVF. Memory, shooting uh, info display. Hit cancel. Playback, quick zoom, grid style, flicker reduction, I get it at 60. And last but not least is the uh, firmware, so we can format the new folder. I started with R0. Sequential number, reset numbering. Copyright information, you can put your information in there. Position, guy, animation, uh, end screen. I want all the information on there. LCD setting is, I think I got it right in the middle. Outdoor viewing set. Okay, this is one. So I got this in the middle, right? The other one's. LCD sends for color. Power uh, button lamp on, countdown on, sound effects, volume is on three. I have Bluetooth off, I have wireless LAN off, I have smartphone link. Yeah. Uh, power off in five minutes, sleep mode. I usually uh, just turn it off. LCD auto dim. I can get about 200 shots before I run out of battery. And I have five batteries now. And they're all charged. Uh, firmware. I'm at the latest firmware. Uh, certification marks. I don't know what that is. Yeah, that's what's on the camera. Okay. Pixel mapping. Desk removal. Language, English, date adjustment, reset. So anyway, that's the menu for you, okay? Uh, I like it pretty much. It's very small, tiny. Daytime takes great shots, and nighttime, nah, not so much, okay? But I've been uh, driving, so it doesn't help if you're moving. Uh, the only thing about small cameras... You can easily hit the uh, buttons. I like this JJC uh, TA GR3 grip. Okay. So this prevents me from hitting the exposure, play button, a couple of it. And this is a locking, so you can't move this, which I like. Uh, this is the front dial. This is kind of like the back dial. And of course, you can do adjustments right here also. Uh, function I already told you about. Menu, display. This button right here can go from uh, video to um, what is it? Uh, let me get it right here to uh, Wi Fi. Video Wi Fi. And then you hit it again, you can go to camera. It's kind of like what Sony does. So let me get 
out of here, go back to zero. And as you can see, it's uh, doing pretty good. If I hit the display, uh, it's plugged in. But uh, the battery is uh, is pretty good right now. Um, and in order to shut it off, there we go. And if I unplug it, now this is not. I can keep it plugged into the USB C. I've noticed that uh, it's not a trickle down like on Sony and Canon. So you can see a full battery right there, 100%. So anyway, that's just a quick look at uh, the menu settings on this camera. I like it. Uh, there are some flaws. Most cameras have flaws, but you deal with it. You try to make the best of uh, the situation, and you make it work. I could probably put this on a tripod and do, you know, with... Uh, uh, my Rode Wireless Go mic, and it'll sound good. And if it's on a tripod still, and I'm not moving around, I'm just sitting or standing in front of it, talking to it, it should work fine. It's just that when you move, you start seeing stuttering. Okay. So this is just a quick info on uh, this camera, what it can do. No puppy. She moved. You saw the Rico GR3X. This is the FX30. And this is the Canon 5 c So I'm going to put either a 35 millimeter on here or a 50 millimeter. I'll probably put the nifty 50 on there. Uh, this one, well, you know, it's uh, the FX30 is a crop one. So it's one and a half times. And I think I have the 23 millimeter on there. Let me check. No, I don't. Okay. I forgot I put this lens on here. All right. So I can move it. I think I can move it. Here we go. Okay, so this is at the widest part right here. Okay, this is at 10. All right, it goes 10 to 18. And this is a Sigma lens. And it's at 2 point. So I'm at 18 right now. And if you notice, I can move the table. The cameras don't shake. All right, but uh, you can still probably... Your little thumping on the uh, microphone. So, uh, thank you for watching. Remember, stay safe, keep smiling, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, folks. Have a wonderful day.